Well, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Bonnershire Manor. My name is Jamie Bramberger. I'm the manager of Community and Student Affairs at Algonquin College's Pembroke Campus. Today, in partnership with Bonnershire Manor and the County of Renfrew, the college is very pleased to announce that it will deliver a personal support worker program here at the Manor beginning in January of 2019. Now to explain how this partnership came to be, I invite Shelley Sheedy, the Director of Long-Term Care at Bonashir Manor to the podium. Shelley. Let's welcome Shelley. It's her home turf. Thank you, Jamie. Good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of all of the residents and the staff here at the Manor, welcome to our home. Like most healthcare organizations in Renfrew County and probably across the province, we are experiencing a, shortage, experiencing a shortage of personal support workers. So we're thrilled to have several of our healthcare and social services partners with us today. Uh, our neighbors, um, Becky Manchetti from Quail Creek Home is here, and Donna Pinkham, the administrator of Groves Park Lodge is here as well. Um, and uh, Jennifer Dombrowski and Andrea Patrick from Ontario Works. Um, so thanks to, for every, to everybody for being here, um, but particularly for people, uh, organizations that do use uh, personal support workers like we do, do definitely rely on them. Um, so as most of you probably know, long-term care today uh, means any adult over the age of 18 who requires long-term care services. So when you add to that the fact that we have an aging population, simply put, there is more demand than supply. And PSWs are an integral part of the long-term care team as they assist residents with their daily living. So things like bathing, feeding, walking. The County of Renfrew has historically provided countless clinical placements for Algonquin College students, ensuring that tomorrow's graduates are well prepared for the long term. And many of the staff here at the Manor are graduates of Algonquin College. With a shortage of PSWs, we reached out to our academic partner, Algonquin College, and the college was quick to respond with a plan to provide an on-site living classroom at Bonisher Manor. So the whole idea behind a living classroom is the three components of the lab, sorry, of theory, classroom, the lab, and then the clinical placement will all take place here at Bonisher Manor. So it will be an exceptional opportunity uh, for students to learn within one of the largest healthcare organizations in Renfrew County. And we will continue to ensure that our students and, and eventually our, our uh, new employees are a good fit with the values required to work in a rewarding long-term care environment and to be work ready. And our residents and families and staff are also very uh, familiar and welcome having Algonquin students here on site. So what can Bonisher Manor offer the graduates of this program? Well, first and foremost, a rewarding career in assisting residents to meet their care needs. A stable job with 200 applicants on our waiting list, there's no shortage of a need for long-term care. And as we know, again, with the demographics being what they are, uh, we're going to continue to need this staff uh, for the next several decades. It's also a very decent living. Uh, we currently pay uh, about $25, a little over $25 an hour, with an opportunity for part-time benefits. And of course, there are full-time positions as well. The other thing about the PSW program or designation is it can be a springboard for other careers within healthcare. So there are bridging programs available uh, to become an RPN or an RN, for example. So we look forward to continuing our successful partnership with Algonquin College in delivering this additional PSW on-site program at Bonisher Manor, which we know will not only help Bonisher Manor, but all of the healthcare organizations in the area. Thank you. Thank you, Shelley, for really laying out the issue and how it's being addressed and the wonderful opportunities uh, that students are going to have who study in this program. Very pleased as well to have with us today Megan Conway, who is the chair of our Health and Community Studies 
programs at the college, and I've asked Megan to say a few words about the partnership, and we're very excited to be part of it. So, Megan. Thank you, Jamie, and thanks, Shelley. Hi, everyone, um, and thank you for the opportunity to be part of today's important announcement. The college, as you might know, places a high value on its partnerships and with the communities that we serve, and today is a great example of that. We believe that delivering the personal support worker program here at Bonisher Manor is an opportunity for the college to assist the community of Renfrew and its healthcare sector in responding to a critical labor shortage. Our campus, as you might know, has been delivering the personal support worker program for many years and collaboration with our local healthcare partners has always been an integral component of our program's success. As Shelley mentioned, I'm always picking up the phone and saying, Shelley, could you take just a few more students? And I'm so excited that those students can now come from Renfrew and the surrounding communities. <clears throat> Delivering the program here is a great example of a collaborative learning model that benefits the employer, the college, and ultimately the students. We are very pleased to offer the program here in Renfrew where the need for highly trained personal support workers is great. I want to thank Shelley Sheedy and her team for reaching out to us and for working out the details. <clears throat> There certainly have been a few logistical headaches along the way, uh, but we're pleased to be able to work them out, and at the end of the day, we know we'll be able to deliver a high-quality program. So once again, I'm really pleased on behalf of Algonquin College and the department to be here, and we look forward to welcoming our first cohort of students coming up in January. Thanks. Thank you, Megan. Of course, Bonisher Manor is operated and administered by the County of Renfrew, and we're very pleased today to have the Reeve of the Town of Renfrew and also a member of County Council here to bring greetings on behalf of the County and the Town. Peter Emo, please. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, the County of Renfrew uh, is very proud of, of our association and our, our uh, role in providing this valuable service of Bonsher Manor to our community. And uh, Bonsher Manor is one of the lar largest long-term facilities in the county of Renfrew and therefore it requires a large and well-trained staff to serve its residents and to inspire confidence in our community. I'd like to commend the administration of both the manor and the college for putting together an innovative partnership that will benefit both organizations and ultimately help ensure the manor has access to a skilled workforce. This is a wonderful opportunity for people in the Renfrew area who are seeking a rewarding and well-paying career. We all know the benefits to working in in the health services industry and it is an industry because it's it's got profession, professional standards and expectations and our community expects that as well. Bonsher Manor has consistently delivered a high quality service to our community and we're, we at the County of Renfrew are very proud of that. So thank you very much for this opportunity to partner and to provide care for our community. Thank you very much, uh, Revimo. Uh, the final speaker today is uh, certainly someone who knows more about personal support worker care than I do, for sure, and probably um, many others, and that is Heather McMillan, who is going to be the coordinator, one of our lead faculty members in the PSW program. So I've asked Heather to say a few words about the program itself. Heather. Hello, everyone, and thank you. Uh, the PSW program at Bonisher Manor will be delivered on a Monday to Friday basis, uh, roughly an eight-hour day that's going to deliver theory, lab, and clinical simultaneously, uh, a little different from how we do it initially right now. Um, the scope of practice for PSWs has grown substantially over the last three years, and so our staff and faculty have been committed to work with those changes to make a high-profile program. Having the PSW program delivered here at Bonisher Manor is going to allow our students to have hands-on, practical, meaningful experience with our uh, residents and staff. They are going to be able to develop problem-solving skills and conflict management skills in the real setting, and we are very fortunate for that. Our program emphasizes on practical skills. Therefore, we have over 100 hours just solely for lab. 
We also have incorporated uh, new components to our program that cover mental health, dementia, Alzheimer's, uh, incorporates the GPA, uh, which is the gentle approach uh, training, and we also have end of life care. Our faculty is 100% committed and passionate about the PSW program. We are very excited for this partnership and our graduates have broad diversity sets of skills and they are ready for any area of healthcare practice. Thank you. Thank you, Heather. I'll uh, just add a few statistics if I could to underscore the importance of having this partnership and having a highly skilled workforce to take care, take care of our region's vulnerable senior population. The 2016 National Census indicated that almost 30% of Renfrew County's population is now over the age of 60. Our region's average age is 44.8 years. So to Shelley's point earlier, there is going to be a longer term need to have qualified personal support workers in our community and highly skilled ones uh, that the college can deliver. Today is about relieving some of that pressure, particularly here at Bonnershire Manor and in the town of Renfrew, and we're excited about this partnership. The program will be open to applications very soon on the Ontario College Application Service, the same site that is used by all college applicants across the province of Ontario. And for my friends in the media, that website is www.ontariocolleges.ca. For those of you in the room, you've heard some of the statistics that Shelley has shared around the wonderful career opportunities that are available here and at other healthcare providers within the region, and certainly a very um, likable, if I can use that word, uh, payment as far as salary is concerned. So there are a lot of opportunities here and certainly a significant demand. So to close the, this ceremony, and I think this is a wonderful idea, uh, Bonisher Manor has provided what I am told is sparkling juice. And we will toast to this wonderful partnership. And I'll ask if uh, Shelley and Peter and Megan and Heather might want to lead us to get out some of that wonderful sparkling juice. And let's propose a toast to a partnership that we think is going to be very, very beneficial to this community. And all of you, we'd like you to join in on this toast as well as our hosts uh, provided for us. So thank you very much and let's toast. Mm -hmm.